So good morning. I holded this all overnight. Everything settled down. And right now I need to decant this juice and let's see how much how much stuff we get it on the bottom. And this is from two rocks. You remember that? There, there was two little rocks. And I taking out that juice and and we be dissolving that old stuff again. This is how much we get. You see that black stuff? This is how much we get. And now we be dissolving, so putting heat on. Here is uh, still hydrochloric acid inside. We can continue precipitating something. So I adding little piece of aluminum in this one, what we already done it. And you will see that there be nothing coming back from that solution. Everything is in this beaker. Here is already getting hot. So let's add some hydrochloric acid. I add in hydrochloric acid, like three milliliters. And you see nothing dissolving. Okay, that means we have some kind of precious metals. So right now we be adding some hydrogen peroxide to dissolve that very little amount of whatever it is. And you see how fast everything dissolve it? Right in seconds. Okay. And let them little work because everything dissolve it already. And I can see that there is like a very, <laughs> like a milk became. So I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's try to do Steiner's chloride test with this solution. Very little amount. Okay. And let's put Steiner's chloride and we will see what we get. Do we have at all gold in here? Oh, see? See? Steiner's chloride says we have gold, but this is not a lot because I can see bottom of the spoon. Yeah, there is gold. So let's put it back. No waste. And now, then we little bit heated, we can filter it. See if we have a little amount. That, but it's like I say, looks like silver chloride is there and all this, some kind of mess. Silver chloride, I guarantee it is. So, okay, heat is off and we getting ready to filtrate. Need to get the beakers washed. Let me go clean it. So I clean the beakers. And I be filtrating the solution and we'll see the water is like I can't tell you it's a silver chloride is inside and we you see on the bottom white stuff so it's okay that means we have gold and silver in those rocks and you see all time as they normally was looking for gold metallic form and me i looking for invisible gold invisible gold does uh old uh, timers they not collect because that time they don't have uh maybe chemicals and everything to recover that gold so they just dump it out everything in the dump files and there is plenty of gold if you know how to look at it, how to recover it, you can get a lot of gold. But you need to have a lot of tools too to get that. So right now I'm filtrating, takes for maybe half hour because silver chloride is very hard to 
to dissolve the filtrate and it's already looks like we done I think <laughs> it's not even one to pass it it's very slowly so I leave it this for good half hour and I come back so filtration is almost over and I right now making SMB water water solution that way I think it works best and adding some SMB and try to dissolve it and now when it dissolves we'll be ready to precipitate that gold whatever it is there is not a lot because there's two rocks I just testing and so far results is good and uh, I just want to see completed everything complete recovery so where is my new pipette dissolving that SMB oh my gosh sun in, in the morning it's dissolving SMB and we be try precipitate that gold whatever is there it's not a lot but I just want to show you how everything works when it's not a lot of gold in solution. You you adding this SMB and you see color not changing right away. Oh, right now started changing some kind of stuff. But you know, SMB works slowly. So you need to add and wait. It's actually here is already gold precipitated. You see the little bit brown change color. You see this is didn't reach yet, but here is already gold precipitated. Okay, but it's right now coagulates like in one hour, two hours we can see something on the bottom. That is not right away. Okay, adding a little bit more and try to mix it. Okay, mixing slowly because this can jump out when bubbles comes out. Everything you need to be doing slowly. And when I finish mixing, then we can leave it this and and come back in like three, four hours. This is minimum. Because you see, I mix it right now, and who knows? <laughs> Need to put that more a little bit. I can see gold participated right now. We be few hours. Need to wait till everything gets together and falls down on the bottom of this beak okay? test tube. Okay, so right now. I'm leaving for a few hours or maybe one more and we'll see what's happening when I come back. So like I say, all timers don't took all the gold they left for us too and they did a good job. They already dig the mines and took all those materials from those mines and dump it. So they collected just those rocks which won't contain visible gold and all that invisible gold is ours. So that way we need to learn how to do it, how to recover that gold, because in that case, we can get some gold. Of course, not a lot, but depends of how much tools you have, how much energy you have. And, and that way, or everything works. So I just looking in those rocks because I I didn't see anything with microscope and I see results that there is something. So, so don't be worried guys, go to old timers dump files and check it the rocks. Main thing what you need to look, you need to look for lines like this so it's just some kind of line in the rock that is your rock 
Oh, a lot of brown stuff, but not like, not like here outside. Okay, you need to find that brown stuff in the lines. What here? You see this this line? What here can be gold, and the outside is just sulfide. So this is what top part is potential gold. Can be gold, not a lot, but little by little, and you get it that gold so be patient do work and you reach everything what you want okay i i not do mining because i'm too old and i don't have tools and everything but i'm working on recovering gold by chemicals so what i collect after a while i smelt it and i show you all right now i'm still still in process of working looking for new places for new rocks and uh, that way we working if i be younger of course if i be younger i be having all the tools and i be working on the mines but my time is past so what's left is just play games and try to find a way to recover that gold okay so i am already close to that so you you see videos you can try the same way and you will get it that gold if of course if there is the gold if there's no gold you can try anything you not get nothing okay guys so let's wait for a few hours and we will see results not expect a lot of gold from two rocks what what size i crush it like two rocks like this size there be very little amount of gold don't think that there be like grams or kilograms no there be milli, milligrams one or two milligrams of gold in those that uh, rock what those two rocks what i crush it there was like this size so if i get the see the gold the brown powder on the beaker then you will see how much the gold is in those two rocks and then you can multiply on bigger amount of rocks and maybe you get some kind of if you like they say if you crush like a ton then you can get like five to ten grams of gold from the ton ton is a big amount of rock to do that you not do with the hands okay i do the testing to figure out do we have a gold in those rocks at all so like you saw we have a gold in those rocks all timers they not take everything they left the us, and that time they don't have the chemicals they don't have glue how to do it they just have mercury crushes they crush the rocks and put the mercury and get the gold out everything else they throw away so we are lucky for that because all timers didn't have a right stuff that time they just took easy easy things that was easy when it's a lot of gold you just take it easy way everything else you just leave for us <laughs> okay enough talking so past like one hour let's see what's on on the bottom on the bottom we have some dust gold dust very little amount so i i think we, i'm putting a little bit on on the heater to make him faster coagulate and fall down so when it gets warmer it works faster so this is like very little amount of gold but there is but that was just two little rocks so we not expect tons and tons of gold this is like not a lot you need to understand that because i just testing those rocks for gold and i got the gold I, I guarantee this is a gold because i see the brown color and all that solution is brown but when you see like this light brown it means it's not enough gold 
I can say it very little amount of gold in there. So right now you see bubbles coming up because it's getting warmer and that SMB started releasing gas, which one helps to precipitate that gold. So I, I keep it for a few minutes till this reaction is getting more and more strong. So I, I can't even do it too much. So let him work like that. Okay, I just leave it for... This is, takes a long time, guys. And But the main thing, that already is go, going on the bottom. You see the, the black stuff? It's a, it's a gold, not black, it's brown. And it's already falling. So this is not a lot of gold, so I just finished that video and leave it next time i show you what's what's left okay guys so thanks for watching you saw results if you want to make a big amount you need to have a rock crushes everything this all big amounts of rocks <laughs> then you get a little bit more gold but it's okay uh, uh, my 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 goal is reached i found the gold so now I, when I don't have nothing to do, I can go to that place, collect some rocks and, and get the gold out, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.